There's nothing natural about where we are. Multiracial, multireligious, tolerant, and progressive. We made it happen. We've got to protect it, nurture it, preserve it, and never, never break it. At her swearing-in, President Halima said she can understand why people didn't like a reserved election. And like them, she looks forward to the day when we no longer lead it, need it and Singaporeans naturally and regularly elect citizens of all races as presidents. And I too hope that we will eventually not need such a mechanism to ensure minority representation. But we are not there yet, and it will take a long time to happen. In climbing towards that ideal state, as we go up, you need guide ropes, you need guardrails to help you get there to prevent you from falling off along the way. And the reserve election for president is one such guardrail. After the swearing in, I posted a picture on Instagram. Three of us on stage. Myself, President Halima, Chief Justice Sundaresh Menon. One Chinese, one Malay, one Indian. Only in Singapore. We had the F1. We had international visitors. One international visitor came from Brazil, Maran. I think he used to be the central banker. And he spontaneously saw the picture. He commented on this. He says, it's most amazing what you have in Singapore. He can't imagine it anywhere else. And in fact, it is. It shows what Singapore is. Multiracial, meritocratic, one flag, one people. So this is what makes us Singaporean. It's not just a resonant rhetoric, the warm, fuzzy feeling. You can, you can generate that. But we have to live it out daily in little ways and big. You have a neighbor of a different race, you celebrate each other's festivals. Share pineapple tarts, kuidada, muruku, many reasons to break your diabetes vows. <laughs> but it's much more than that. It's having colleagues and true friends from different races whom we laugh and cry with. And being able to accommodate one another and work through our differences. We have to have that honesty to recognize that our multiracialism is not yet perfect but also that courage and determination to take pragmatic steps to get there, step by step. And that's how we can continue to expand our common space and to strengthen trust and become one people, one nation, one Singapore. Thank you very much.